on what image and what likeness. The Bible says after he finished to make he said he make them male and what and female. In other words, he put the image Welcome of to CBCC. We saved a seat for you and we're glad you're here. If you're looking for a thriving Christian community, a place where you can perfectly fit in, a place with the undiluted word of God, a place where savoring worship is raised to the heavens. You are in the right place. At CBCC, we are more than just a church. We are a family, a community who loves God and love one another under the leadership of our lead pastor, Apostle Paul Ame. And there's a place for you. With heartfelt worship and impactful outreach, we are dedicated to growing together in faith and love. Come as you are here at CBCC. There's always a seat saved just for you. Welcome home. Welcome to CBCC. We saved a seat for you and we're glad you're here. If you're looking for a thriving Christian community, a place where you can perfectly fit in, a place with the undiluted word of God, a place where savoring worship is raised to the heavens, you are in the right place. At CBCC, we're more than just a church. We are a family, a community who loves God and love one another under the leadership of our lead pastor, Apostle Paul Ame, and there's a place for you. With heartfelt worship and impactful outreach, we are dedicated to growing together in faith and love. Come as you are here at CBCC. There's always a seat saved just for you. Welcome home. Welcome to CBCC. We saved a seat for you and we're glad you're here. If you're looking for a thriving Christian community, a place where you can perfectly fit in, a place with the undiluted word of God, a place where savoring worship is raised to the heavens, you are in the right place. At CBCC, we are more than just a church. We are a family, a community who loves God and love one another under the leadership of our lead pastor, Apostle Paul Ame, and there's a place for you. With heartfelt worship and impactful outreach, we are dedicated to growing together in faith and love. Come as you are here at CBCC. There's always a seat saved just for you. Welcome home. Welcome to CBCC. We saved a seat for you and we're glad you're here. If you're looking for a thriving Christian community, a place where you can perfectly fit in, a place with the undiluted word of God, a place where savoring worship is raised to the heavens, you are in the right place. At CBCC, we are more than just a church. We are a family, a community who loves God and love one another under the leadership of our lead pastor, Apostle Paul Ame, and there's a place for you. With heartfelt worship and impactful outreach, we are dedicated to growing together in faith and love. Come as you are here at CBCC. There's always a seat saved just for you. Welcome home.
Welcome to CBCC. We saved a seat for you and we're glad you're here. If you're looking for a thriving Christian community, a place where you can perfectly fit in, a place with the undiluted word of God, a place where savoring worship is raised to the heavens, you are in the right place. At CBCC, we're more than just a church. We are a family, a community who loves God and love one another under the leadership of our lead pastor, Apostle Paul Ame. And there's a place for you. With heartfelt worship and impactful outreach, we are dedicated to growing together in faith and love. Come as you are here at CBCC. There's always a seat saved just for you. Welcome home.
presence of God? Are you happy this morning that I came to meet Jesus? The one that know you better than as you know yourself. Hallelujah. I appreciate fire this morning. One more time, the presence of God is fully here this morning. Hallelujah. As hallelujah. This is another Wednesday again. This is another Wednesday. Not plus Wednesday. This is another Wednesday. That is another Wednesday that you get your package. The package of last week, Wednesday, has gone. This is another Wednesday. Every Wednesday here, we have plus. We don't have minor. We have plus. Because what God did yesterday is different. But this God that we are serving is God of process. Hallelujah. I told you one of the times that when I was praying for somebody, we are not in hurry. God show me the baby and say, look at this baby that is going to deliver. Very beautiful baby. So heaven is not in hurry. Heaven is in process. The, pro the problem as a human being that love sharp, sharp thing. And that's why this generation is suffering. He is not finishing. They will come to church. They will leave church. They will go to Habali. They will leave to Habati. They will, they will visit everywhere because they want sharp, sharp thing. That's why our days is short. Hallelujah. But I want to let you to know that covenant children don't look for sharp, sharp thing. Have a relationship. What God needs from us is a relationship. When you have a relationship for your father, no matter whatever that happens in your father, you're always in your father's house. Because that's the relationship. But some of us don't know that God works with his relationship. When you're looking for God for what will give to you without relationship, you will keep on suffering and you will keep on walking, running after things that not matter. Because when you are going before your mind, before you take a step, he knew who you are, he knows your thought, he knows everything about you. Praise the Lord. May we serve God. Let's follow him as he is. Not follow him for what we want to eat from him. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Thank God for last week, for the program. Before we start this morning, I just want us to appreciate God. Whenever you come to the presence of God, I always tell you that come alone. Don't look at anybody that this person is not there because the problem of that person is not your own problem. Praise the Lord. Her problem is different from your own. Eh? Apostle Paul will always say that the day madman knows that he's mad, is what? Madness will finish. Praise God. So this morning again, we are going to talk to God. You are here this morning. There's something that you are looking for. And God will give it to you. I want us to thank God for the journey mercy I've granted Pastor to him. The journey mercy I've given to him. I've granted him to be back from the program he went overseas. Thank God for the journey mercy. I appreciate God. Lift your hands up this morning and thank God for the journey mercy. Thank God for the program that will finish. Thank God for the soul that God has saved. Thank God. Thank God. Lift your hands up this morning. Just cool your mind this morning. Thank him. Don't be like a night leper. That after receiving the miracle, they went back. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. 
appreciate him. He's your father. He's your friend. He's a king of kings and the Lord of lords. He's a fighter of our battle. Without him, we are nothing. I appreciate him this morning. Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want you to open your mouth this morning and thank God for your life. Thank God for your family. If you know what is going on in this generation, any day that you woke up, you have to thank God. Because so many things is going on in this generation. People are dying every day, every second. Life is going. But God has kept your life this morning. I want you to appreciate God this morning. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for life. Appreciate him for life. Appreciate him for life. For how he have kept you this morning. Appreciate him for waking you up this morning. Appreciate him for your family. Appreciate him for your wife, for your children, for your husband. Appreciate him for your business, for everything that you have done for you. Appreciate him. 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 In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. One more time, I just want you to appreciate God again for you to wake up this morning to see me. Because if you like it or not, every day and every second, there's oppression that is going on on your head and your family. The Bible said that the wicked never sleep or they committed their wickedness. There are wicked that never sleep. Every day they are on, on their knee, on their journey to make sure they committed that wickedness. But thank God that God kept you. Thank God that the presence of God is with you. So this morning, I just want you to thank God for keeping your life. Thank God for waking you up physically this morning. You woke up this morning without no power of darkness. Even they plan for you not to wake up, but you woke up this morning. As God, thank God this morning. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Even some of your haters, they don't want to see you this morning. But God wake you up. Le kapato soto bradata. Le kura kisika bradosa. Iko barada zada rada bradada zandelia. Maro soto koprege desendele brege do. Ira ba 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 bradada zandelia. She pretis ketoli marus kapeya. In prevalence, the government is not going to be able to do it. In the government, the government is not going to be able to do it. In the government, the government is not going to be able to do it. In the government, the government is not going to be able to do it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. One more time, you are going to thank God for chaining the hands of your enemy. Listen to me. One of the things that you have to know, whenever you are thank God, thank God because there are some people that already sold you out. Some of people have sold you out, but they are your best friend. Praise God. You know that any time, one of the things that we don't know as a human being, that any time there are something happen, maybe that's misunderstanding that you cannot even understand. Maybe you people cannot even explain very well what happened before that thing happened. And do some things. And somebody begin to come and look at the sister and say, This sister, this is how he is. That is how he is. A devil already picked the world. 
praise the Lord. Because that thing that you are saying out of that anger, that thing you are saying that particular time, for you, you are not wishing that person well. The devil has already hold it. Praise the Lord. That's why sometimes when we do this deliverance and uh, renounce and denounce, that's one of the things. Because sometimes people, their word is written down. It's in you that forgot the word, but the devil never forgot it. Praise God. And this money, you are the one who will bring yourself out. Because that's what you will tell yourself. I will not die before my time. Maybe somebody will say you will die before your time. It's in you that will use your mouth to cancel the thing. Praise the Lord. That's why God never walk with the multitude. God walk with personal. But what he did with God with personal is what he did. This morning again, we are going to thank God for delivering you from the mouth of the wicked. Because every day and every second, there is a war that is out for you not to survive. But the mercy of God has kept you to survive you. So this morning, you are going to thank God. Every word that any man and any man has spoke concerning my life, that will make sure that I will not exist. This morning, I thank you because you make me to survive the word of the wicked. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Listen to me. Some people don't know why they fight their helpers. This is a man that I always go to his house to eat and always taking care of him. Are you getting me? You are not supposed to fight him. But the enemy wants me to fight you so that you will not nourish that wickedness and stop giving me food. Because some people don't know that your enemy make you to fight your helper so that by the time your helper begins to hate you, you will not know, not, 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 not like, like you again and giving you food. When I was talking of this, it happened in many ways. Praise the Lord. Why it be that your helper you fight? If in normally tense of a human being, you're not supposed to fight your helper. But that power that God wants you to go far in life, make you to fight your helper. Because they want to stop you and stop your helper. So the only thing that they can do, they use you against yourself. That's why some many people behave. You wonder, I didn't give this person anything. I'm taking care of this person. How come they want to stop you? Praise the Lord. One of the greatest mistakes Christians make that they never deliver themselves. Noise is different than delivering yourself and consequently on your own life. Praise God. When I start my word, I'll tell you some things. Because the greatest thing the enemy will do, even power from your father's house, is to make you to fight your helper. We are going to pray this morning and say, Father, anywhere. I have made mistake to fight my helper, chasing my helper away from me. Don't you know that sometimes like this, this even happened to me. There are some people that if I go on my knees to pray for them, they will tell me, say, want to pray for this one that is so stubborn. Praise the Lord. I know that the stubbornness is from the enemy, so that you cannot stand him in the place that cannot deliver himself. Because there are some certain things you cannot do for yourself when it comes to the realm of the spirit. Because work of the spirit is different. Because you can't work on the except the assignment they give. And if they don't give you that assignment, you go, you don't come back. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. So this morning you are going to pray again and say, God, I thank you for the plans of the enemy not succeed in my life. I will not fight my helper. The grace to stand, the grace to consistency. Give it to me this morning. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Open your mouth and talk to God this morning. Let the pattern no longer. Let the pattern the enemy want to stop me. I deliver myself this morning. Thank you, Father. We have prayed. Amen. Our blessed Father, we just thank you for this wonderful morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for bringing us down here this morning. Lord, bless your name. Thank you for what you are doing for Covenant Believer Christian Center. Thank you for where the church are today. And thank you for where we are going. Thank you for the battle you have fought for the church. Thank you for the battle you have fought for our family. 
Thank you for the battle you have fought for us. Thank you for the battle you have fought for the nation Nigeria. Thank you, Father. We appreciate you for all what you are doing. Thank you on behalf of our children. Thank you on behalf of our husband and wife. Thank you on behalf of Covenant Believer Christian Center. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for putting food on our table. A lot, lot of things are happening in this nation. People are begging. People are down. People are confused. But Father, every second and every minute of our life, our heart is full of joy. Thank you for the strength you are giving to us. Thank you, Thank you Father, for the joy of God. Thank you, Thank you Lord. May your name alone be glorified. Amen. Thank you for salvation of our soul. Many are perishing in sin. But Father, Lord, you call us out, O oh Lord. Even the midst of our enemy. Bless your name, O oh Lord. May your name alone be glorified. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Christ. We appreciate you for the journey mercy you granted to Pastor Paul. Father, we thank you Amen. for everything that you have done for us, O oh Lord. Amen. Lord, as we start today, start with us. Amen. Come down in a new dimension. Amen. Visit us one more time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone present here this morning will not leave you empty handed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We rebuke the spirit of ignorance. We rebuke the spirit of bitterness and, and the plans of the enemy that have planted in our life. Father, we rebuke that such spirit out of our life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give us, O oh Lord, the sense to serve you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Amen. All what we need from you is related us closer. Jesus, Amen. above all, when the day of reckoning, none of us will miss rapture. Amen. We know any moment from now, rapture will take place. Father, when the day of reckoning, none of us will miss. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless your name for what you have done. Amen. We give you thanks and we give you honor. Thank we appreciate you, you for life. Lord, let your name alone be glorified. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we go into your word this morning, Lord, Lord, speak to your people. And let your people be blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you believe in your prayer, shout amen. Amen. If you believe in your prayer, shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. You know that we are in season of uh, favor. We are in season of favor. And we are going to deal with the battle of favor this morning. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Lift your hands one more time. Say, oh Lord, my God. I have come before you. I have come before you. I denounce you. and I renounce. I renounce and I deny every plans of the enemy. Every plans of the enemy concerning my life. Concerning my life. I denounce and I renounce. I denounce and I every renounce. wickedness of the enemy. Every wickedness of concerning the enemy. Concerning my life. Concerning my life. In any area, oh Lord, in any area that I have seen against you. I've seen against that the enemy will use it against that me. The enemy will this use morning, it against I denounce. This morning, I every renounce. agreement from the pit of hell concerning my life. Concerning my life. I denounce. I renounce. I, renounce. I renounce. Open your mouth and begin to denounce. I renounce. Everywhere I have sinned against you. Everywhere I have done wrong against you. That the enemy will hold you against me this morning. I denounce and I renounce. Every conspiracy of the enemy concerning my life. I denounce and renounce. In the name of Jesus. I denounce and renounce. Everything I have done wrong to God. Unknowing and knowing to me. I denounce and renounce. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Say, oh Lord, my God, oh Lord, my I God. denounce and I renounce, I renounce every, renounce. Commitment, every that commitment that I have made, I will know it to me, or the one I know, every commitment that I have made, that the enemy will hold it against me, to stop where I'm going, to stop the blessing of God, I denounce them this morning, and I renounce them, and I use the blood of Jesus to wipe it away, open your mouth and begin to pray this morning, I renounce, 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Say, oh Lord my God, oh Lord my God, every commitment, every commitment that I have made, that I have made through food, through food, through sex, through sex, through covenant, through covenant, unknown to me, unknown to in me, the dream, in the dream, this morning, this by morning, the power in the name of Jesus, the name of I, Jesus. Renounce, I renounce, and I renounce, and I renounce every commitment every that I have made that I have last night. I cancel it with the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to come. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We see you are still on prayer. Let me show you something from the book of Esther before I get to my wife. Esther chapter 3, verse 8. We'll pray there as we continue. And Hamas said unto the king Ashurus, There is a certain people, certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all previous of the kingdom. And they, and they are lost. Uh, advice from the people, neither keeping the king's what keeping the king's laws. Therefore, it is not for the king's profit to suffer them. It is please the king. Let it be written that that they may not be destroyed. And I will pay ten thousand talent of silver to the hand of the of those that have done that have the charge of the business to bring into the king's treasures. And the king took his ring and the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Hor. Haman. Listen to what am I trying to bring out here. There are people that are envying you. That, I better put it back. There are people that are envying you that people that don't want to, to succeed, that people that they don't like you. Look at the Jews here. These are the Jews. These people are there serving God gently. But the particular person is there hating them. Are you hearing me? That's why sometimes when I see Christians playing, instead of them to pray, 
you continue repeating things. Listen to me. Some of you prophecies is on your head, but you cannot fight for your prophecy. Why they will give you prophecy and the prophecy will linger on your head for 10 years, for 5 years? You don't fight for it. Look at the Jews here. The Bible says the Jews are there playing on their own happily. But this hammer is assistant king, assistant president, but he hates them. He hates them except he hates the hammer that is even a, a gate man. You see where assistant, uh, 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 assistant uh, 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 vice president will hate a, 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 a gate man. You see normal. Some of you are sitting down today and say, after that, I don't get house, I don't get car, I don't get the white people are envying me. Yes, they envy your future, not now. But because you, you don't put back, I don't even know how to put it. You can't fight for your prophecy. Then you will begin to complain for who that even are taking you. The people you are complaining to are people that want you to be down. The people you are complaining to are people that want to kill you. People that are complaining to people that don't even like your appearance. Praise the Lord. Anytime, they, anytime Hammer is coming to the office, when he saw the medical uh, uh, mother car sitting in the gate, you hate it. You know that the, 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 the gap between a vice president and get man is too big. A get man, a, you're a get man. Wake up in the morning, begin to hate him. Why? Because the man is not ordinary get man. There's a future you carry. And the future of all his family is on your head. Praise the Lord. He now went to the king, or knowing to the king. He now said, King, I want to do work. And I'll pay some certain amount of money. And when he told the king, he pleased the king. The king removed his things. If I gave somebody authority in this church, I said, This is what you are going to do. There's no amount of something that will see that will stop that person. No amount of your English, no amount of whatever you say that will stop the party. Why? Because you have to obey the head. And the king now removed the ring and you put it. Some of you don't know that the assignment that the devil have carried in some people in your family to make sure they be with you. He removed the ring and put it on his head. When he removed the ring and put it in his wrong. And the Bible says not only that, he paid money heavy amount of silver to make a Jew his wife. That's when I saw some people, they always run to God when things are good for them, when there's no problem, when things are bad. No! Don't come to God when things are bad for you. Come to God as a relationship. Because somebody that have a relationship with you, he can knock at a time, can open door for you. I cannot come to your house now and knock, I don't know my voice. Why? Because the relationship is there. Praise the Lord. And sometimes, some people don't have relationship. Then they knock. God did not hear their voice. Why? Because they are strangers. May you not be stranger in the house of God. Amen. May you not be stranger with God that created you. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. Amen. And he said, let me pay to make sure I destroy the Jews. But at the end of the day, he destroyed the Jews. No! He didn't destroy the Jew because the person that have connection with God is the person that delivered the Jews. Praise the Lord. He boasted with his silver. He boasted with his power. He boasted with his position. Are you hearing me? He boasted with his position. He boasted with his money. He boasted with his power. But there's somebody that have relationship with God that govern the whole world. And who is that person? Esther. And the reason why he did that thing, because he looked at the Esther is a slave, a uh, uh, Hammer is a slave, but they are in the they are Jews. And you know that Jews people are people of God. Hallelujah. And she was in the operation, did this operation very hard. And when he was doing the operation very hard, God was watching him until somebody rose up. Praise the Lord. After he had completed everything, even if you look at chapter 6, the Bible says he went and, and, and what? And programmed a gallop to hang a Mordecai. And God was watching. And then Esther said, my people cannot be perished where I am here. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says, 
continuously we get to have a relationship with God, he said, let me meet the one that controls the world. Not the one that is a king now. The one that is controlling the world. Are you hearing me? And he went before the God of Almighty. The Bible says, he fasted. I told the Jew, I will fast it. Fasted it. Mordecai said, I know I am a great man, but what I carried is higher than the great man. I told Esther, we are in the kingdom in such hour. Listen to me. We have come to the presence of God in this such hour that things cannot be destroyed for you. Amen. You hear what I say? So now you are in the presence of God. If you don't fight for your prophecy, it's your fault. It's no longer God's fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. Some of you, God wants to give you million, but when you handle 100,000, you relax. You didn't fight for your prophecy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, Esther said, okay, let me meet my God. And then Esther met God, fasted for three days. He told the whole Jews, fasted for me. If I will perish, I will perish. Anytime you are coming to the house of God, anytime, sometimes some of you strike to be here, you can never be down. Rather, you are cleaning your future. Praise God. Rather, you are fighting for your future. Listen to me. Some of you can't fight for your future because if you don't fight for your future, when the enemy kill you, you will not end on you. You will fight all your generation. Because that which your father said is not about to do with you, only you. You will finish you. There's a woman that came here. They, they, I didn't see her now. He came to me the other about uh, three weeks ago. And he told me, he said, they see the, one of her sister. The, 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 the power in the house killed the husband. Now he has killed the three children. Why? Because the man cannot survive. And he told them openly, he said, I will clear your children. And I asked her, what did your sister do? She said, now if they cry, how long do you sit down crying for your enemy? But you declare what belongs to you. Esther said, no, I can't cry for my enemy. I can't. I can't. I know the solution. And I know who I meet because I have a relationship. What is killing so many of us because we don't have a relationship? We only look for God when there's problem. When you are looking for God, when there's problem, problem will never stop. Praise the Lord. But when you are in relationship with him, remember, before the problem comes, you will fight it for him. That is God. And then start saying, I have, a spl- I have a relationship. Let me meet my father. And he began to discuss with God. I said, God, let me fast. He told the Jews, pass, pass with me, and let's discuss. The Bible says they fasted. At the end of the day, their enemy was hung for the gallows. He prepared. Listen to me. Your enemy have prepared a lot of gallows for you and your children. The enemy have prepared a lot of gallows for you and your generation. But can you fight for your prophecy? Can you fight for your prophecy? Because they can't stop on only you. They make sure they clear your generation. Because who hate you, don't hate only you. That's what I want to put in your hand today. Because some people look for, they like to look for, shout, 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 shout. See, don't you know that when prophecy is called, they give you prophecy. You don't fight for your prophecy. You don't know that you never start. You start. Listen, if I give you a prophecy, hmm, I'll give you a prophecy. And I told you that's what is going to happen. And that's what is happening in your father's house. And that's what is happening. I'll expose you more. Praise the Lord. Because if you don't fight for the prophecy, devil already here. You'll go after and make sure that prophecy never come to pass. That's why a lot of Christians can never succeed. Because they are lazy in the place of prayer. Why people like prophecy? They want to hear, but they cannot fight for it. They cannot fight. And the solution is to fight. It's a solution is to fight, not to hear. Not to hear. But people love prophecy more than to fight. But the day you fought for your prophecy, praise the Lord. I know the prophecy concerning my life, right from my face. I know what God has given me to do, so I can't relax. Because I know that a left person is my enemy. That I have to fight. Some of you don't know, the person that is fighting you, even your own brother. Even your own relative. You will make sure that nothing good about you. How do you do now? 
cannot fight. Praise the Lord. That is the generation we are now. The generation we are now, the life prophecy more than to fight. And when you refuse to fight, you remain there. You remain there because that devil never tired. It is you that tired. Don't you know that when you are sleeping, some people don't sleep. When you are sleeping, some people don't sleep. Oh. And they are human beings like you. They are human beings like you. Praise the Lord. But when they start hard, that that's what is going on. You say, no. That's why I am the king. That's why I am the queen. That's why I am living here. I'm here enjoy. What of my people? What of my people? No. I have to get up to my prophecy because I know God brought me to the kingdom in this church hour for something to happen. And it passed. This is that God is a magician. Listen to me. Everyone present here this morning. Listen to me. God is not a magician. Are you hearing me? God is not a magician. God is never in horrid and he's never arrived there. You see, you that see that God delay, God never delay. Never delay. Anything you want to do in this life, you'll do it perfectly. But how is he watching you? Your loving kindness for him, how you committed yourself in his work, how you committed yourself, how love you have for him, then you watch him. Our people pray, say, God, give me one million. If you give me the one million, what do you want to do with that one? Praise the Lord. Don't you know that God will count it before he gives you? Don't you know? God, give me wife, give me wife, give me wife, give me husband, give me husband, give me husband, give me husband. If God give you the husband, you will not come to church again. No. If God give you the wife, you will not come to church again. No. You will relax. But don't you know that you have to fight for your prophecy? The reason why people don't know that they don't know that all their life is battle to fight. So let me say, pray, God, give me time, husband. If you marry, relax. What else? You're not going to get better. Eh? You're not going to pray for that picking for better. Make no trouble. You. No, no, this one picking shall be kids' person for better. No, I'm telling you, no, the reality of life. Don't you pray to deliver that baby well. Don't you pray for that child to crawl. I've been on the internet, some people carry picking for it, never crawl. Don't you know that that child will sit down well. Don't you know that that child will grow and go to school. So people don't know their life. That's how they relax. That's how they relax. If I'm praying for you, there are some relationships, there are some people I go to on my knees to do. I, their memory can never come up from my brain. Why? Because of relationship. Some people, if, when I see you, now I remember you. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I'm telling you about relationship. So don't realize that after all, I come, they pray for you and give you prophet now. What did you do with your prophet? What did you do with your prophet? You know how many millions of people talking to God they knew him a second? A second. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. At the end of the day, Esther fought. Esther fought. He fought the extent that he, he prayed. The paper was so much upon her. When the paper was so much upon her, he meet King Axorus. King Axorus is a wicked king. He's a wicked king. That he never take nonsense. Even the people that are working around never take nonsense. If he did not invite you, whether being wife or being friend, if he did not invite you, if you come, they cut off your head. But because of the relationship Esther had with God, the Bible says he found favor before this wicked king. And he asked Esther, imagine the paper was so much that he even asked Esther, if you have a half of my kingdom, ah, before somebody opened his mouth, even a half of my kingdom, I will give it to you. To tell you that Esther has settled with God. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. When you saw Esther, Esther, my queen. Esther, my queen, before the king, before they will cut off Esther's head. The Bible says, he set hot. The chapter to say, touch it so that nobody will touch you. And after he touched it, he said, my king, I want to have a meeting with you. Esther is not hurry. The reason why Esther is not hurry because you already have a conversation with God. Praise the Lord. If you check out the whole woman, they have a conversation with God. In the Bible, they never be in hurry. They work out things perfectly, and at the end of the day, God give them the best. And the king, I'll see you tomorrow. 
and I will prepare a, a bath prayer. And the bath prayer, you know what they are put for inside that food. Preparing the food, he said, Father, as the king will eat this food, begin to judge right. Every bribe the hammer has given, Father, let that bribe never work. Praise the Lord. Every bribe that have gone to this kingdom will not work because I have the relationship with you. And God had it. As he was preparing that food, he said, it's ordinary food. Esther prepared for, for king and Tama. No! That food as he's cooking it in the kitchen. Shall I go next? Oh, next is You're singing on the food. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. As I go before the king and hammer, let hammer eat this food and die. Let all what he plotted for me and my kingdom and the people and my people, let it fall on him. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Do you know how many money people have given us for you and your family to make sure all of you die? Do you know how many sacrifices people have gone to do to make sure that you need to survive your life? There are sacrifices that people have made that you don't even have that money to do that sacrifice. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. All the sacrifice that you need is a relationship with the God. Because your, your, your enemy can go to any length. When they say, go and buy goat and slaughter it in the midnight for junction, and you are sleeping. You are sleeping. After finish, they say, ah, this one, they don't store. Go and be, you know that people can borrow money to make sure you did not survive. They can borrow money and hold to make sure that you did not survive. I give you a testimony of a sister that I report at Koroni. The father, they did the sister that they, the people that killed the father. They said they make sure that the children not do well. And along the line, we are praying. And the brother always present in the prayer. We are praying and are praying and we are praying. Then a, do, a doctor, a medical doctor, just saw us that you want to marry the lady. Ha. Before we know, before everybody knows, they have prepared everything. And they, they, they see that the, the father heard of it. He went, he didn't have money. He went and borrowed 30, how many thousand? 30,000 by then to build the building. And, they, and, 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 and the hammer is so dry that only thing that you can survive and to stop this marriage, you can't stop it again. But when they are dancing during the recession, you need to use it to touch the thing. And after that, the person will run mad. Praise the Lord. And it's okay. After the prayer, we did everything. I will pray for the lady. I even anointed her. The, 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 the wedding was going on. After the wedding, we went to the session and it was dancing. This lady was dancing with the husband. People are spreading money. And she also was dancing. As she was dancing, he forgot the jiju here. He hung it here so that if you put it with the money, then you touch the lady. That's the instruction they gave to her. But dancing until he forgot it. When he get home, now he find that and the thing by fire on her. How do you know how we take here? How do you know how we still discover later? And at the end of the day, he came out and the thing by fire on her. He lose her senses and begin to misbehave and started confessing. And the lady ran to my house. I said, ah, see what happened. The mother ran to her. He said, see what happened. I said, don't you know that we are pray that all your children will get married and do well? Because he has vowed that our own, the children will not get married. They are the one who kill the father. The father is there for them, but they still kill him. Listen to me, some of things that is your own good that make people hate you. Even your good implicated you. Praise the Lord. A wicked person is a wicked person. But look at her, Esther here. Esther said, I knew. I have a prophet on my head. When you know that I have a prophecy on your head, you fight for your prophecy. As I say, I knew I have a prophecy on my head. For me to come to be a queen, it's not an easy task. Because of the prophecy and the favor upon my head, that's why I am in this seat. And I make sure I maintain the seat. 
grace comes. And the Bible says at the end of the day, Hebrews chapter 6, at the end of the day, all the enemy of Esther was hanged. Even, even how my wife told me, if God is God of the Jews, what a plan for the backfire on you. You see how God supported her, her, Esther? He wife told him. He, he said, if God loved the Jews, what he planted for them will backfire on you. The wife told him, that gallop he prepared is you that they are going to hang. Praise the Lord. And at the end of the day, who did they hang here? Nahama. Every of your hammer of your father's house, may they be hanged. Every hammer that say will not let you go. Every hammer that say will not let you succeed. May they be hanged. Amen. That's how you have to fight for your prophecy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when you fight for your prophecy, you will succeed. People thought that by giving you prophecy. No, 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 no. Prophecy is to open up for you to fight more. We are in the season of favor. That's right. We are in the season of favor. How do we fight our favor? Praise the Lord. Battle against the enemy of war of favor. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are labor and I have you laid, and I will give you what? Rest. Come unto me. What God said, Come unto me. He said, Come unto me. All ye that are labor and heavy lady, I what? I what? I will give you rest. Rest from sickness, rest from pain, rest from setback, rest from poverty. I will give you rest. He don't say sit down at home, I will give you. He said, come unto me, all ye that are labor. When you come to God, we remove labor from you. When you come to God, we remove pains from you. When you come to God, we remove frustration from you. When you come to God, he will give you favor in life. He said, come unto me. We are in the season of favor. We are in the season of favor. You know what favor can do? Favor can make life easy for you. That's why he said, come. So that I can make favor easy for you. Come unto me. You don't think that, hey, I know uh, today I, 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 I rest. May I sleep. When they announce program and say program, so no, but you will say people jump pad, like thing that God don't love today. God travel, God don't travel, God never travel, God never travel. But because he don't have consistency with God, whenever he look at you, I say, just give you prophet. They are not around again. You cannot come. And you don't know you delay your prophecy. You delay. You delay your prophecy. You delay. Why one matter will be repeated in my head for 10 years? It's an evil. I did that to show that I did not fight my prophecy. Praise the Lord. Do you think that the enemy that are holding you, are they happy for you to get into your prophecy? No. No. Not everybody can fight. There are some people that can fight for you. There are some people that cannot fight for you. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Sometimes my prayer, when I knelt down, I began to pray. Now I see God will show me something. I say, ah, it's wow. It's wow. The greatest power from your father's house is the power to make you to be offense to everybody. Pick offense on this one, pick offense on this one, pick offense on this one, pick offense on this one. Whenever you are picking offense on everybody, something wrong with you. There's power from your father's house is fighting you. A power that is around fighting. Some of you use your hand to buy power. The offense that you are facing, some of you are by it. Praise the Lord. Some of you, some of ladies, you friend with them, some men, you friend with them. You even know what is following them. You even know what is following them. Some of you like cheap, cheap food. Cheap, cheap food. When you see it, you, pop, you put it in your mouth. And they'll begin to fight you. And you say, Where is God? And God will be looking at you because you are wrong by yourself. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Some of you as you are sitting in the church now, there are some people that you cannot talk to them. And the Bible says, how many times your brother offended you? Seventy times seven, forgive. Don't you know that when God talks of forgiveness, it's for you, it's not of you. It's because of your own. It's not because of God. Nothing shaped God. And nothing shaped God. Nothing shaped me from the kingdom. 
the kingdom come, nothing says God. Everything God say concerning his Bible that we should not do, it's our own good. It's our own good. Praise the Lord. It's for our own good. Because the people that are fighting you never rest. Never rest. They never give up. It's you that will give up. Season of favor, how do I fight my favor? I fight my favor by consistency. Favor is on me already. How does the favor continue to work on me? By consistency in the word of God. By consistency on the work that I'm doing. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I will never be tired for the work that God has given to me. Consistency. Relationship. Relationship with God. With God. And at the end of the day, not only that, enter forth until he clear the whole Hamas children. He clear his children. And he said, let peace reign in this land. Let me kill all his sons. The Bible says he killed all his sons. Listen to me. The reason why some of you don't know that when he look for some trouble, there are some people who cannot look for their trouble. Hello, are you hearing me? Wave your hand. Are you enjoying? There are, let me just call them and talk to me this morning so that you know that God is not your mate. He's the one that created you. Your father can never be your mate. No matter how your father wrong, he's your father. Praise the Lord. Like a, this generation of a, a digital children, where they send them to school and they come back and they begin to blow grammar, they'll forget about their father. When you are talking, you go say, What are you saying? We are Kima, we are me, we are this. Your father is your father forever. Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. Your father might gather rags, but that in rags, they sense it on in rags that gather. I sent it in rags, I gather. Inside the rag, there are hidden things that you don't know. But you look at it and say, after all, my rag, my father gathered. No, you have to learn for that rag that they gather for you to go far, far in life. When he had, when uh, uh, Hammer was fighting Esther, he didn't know that these people have covenant for their head. He thought that because he's a now assistant uh, 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 vice president, he can fight the Jews. Don't you know that Jews have a covenant with God? Jew nation are small, but you cannot fight them. If you look at the Jews, they are very tiny people. There are people that if you look at them, you don't value them. But the covenant on their head, you can't fight them. Praise the Lord. And Esther came and they blew. And he told Haman, you look for my trouble. I do not look for your trouble. I sit down there as a king. And he assists our president. Working with my own husband. Are you hearing me? And I'm a queen in the kingdom. And now come to clear my own family. He came now and said, let the whole Jew be clear. We were almost there before they make you a vice president. But now he despised my position as a king. But not only sitting down there as a queen, God brought me as a queen. Now, I will tell you that even not only your life, that I will clear your son. Praise the Lord. And because of, because of a covenant that I have with God, God signed me. The Bible says at the end of the day, all the sons of Hama was clear. That means in generation finish. Generation finish. And that's why this life, don't fight everybody you see. Because if they leave you, they cannot leave your generation. The reason why God says you move the favor because when the favor of God is upon your life, He gives you wisdom. Praise the Lord. He gives you wisdom. He gives you the wisdom to know where to go, to know where not to go. To know what to do and know what not to do. Because when God says, I will give you favor, when the favor of God is upon you, anywhere you enter, nobody will tell you no. That is God. That's what favor can do. 
If you can pray this season, say, God, we have done this season. Pay for open door. Pay for open door. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Favor for open door. And we have time it's favor to open door. This is a season that God wants to give us that favor. But listen to me before I pray this morning. We are going to pray and say, for what delay my prophecy? What delay my prophecy? What delay my prophecy? What delay my prophecy? I'm going to fight it this morning and I'll get it. Twenty-eight of that that uh, that uh, Matthew, I'm writing down now. Twenty-nine. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For what? For what? Me be and help us now. Me be and do your work. Hallelujah. Are you seeing it? He said, "Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am what? I am meek." And lowly in what? I am meek and lowly in heart. That is God telling his people. I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto what? Unto your soul. I am God that you are serving. I am meek and lowly in heart. So you can find the rest. So you can find rest to your soul. You can find rest for your soul. Listen to me. God is meek. God is lowly. But you know, at the center, God is a consuming fire. Praise the Lord. If you are hearing me, just wave your hand. Hallelujah. At the same time, God is me and lowly in heart. And the Bible says, God, what? He's a consuming fire. A man and a woman that carry favor. You only know them where you touch, where you're not supposed to touch in their life. Praise the Lord. When God says, Come out of me, I will give you rest. Because I am lowly, I am meek. And at the same time, I'm a God of consuming fire. That me, I consume all your enemies that look for you. I consume your enemies that say, will not let you go. For my yoke is easy. And my body, what? Is light. For my body is light. My body is light. That I will give you light because I am light. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 2. He said, who was faithful to him that is appointed him? He was faithful to him that is appointed him. As also Moses was, was faithful. What in the house? Faithfulness. Moses was faithful to God that appointed him. Don't you know that God has appointed you to be faithful to him? Because when you are faithful to God, God will be faithful to you. The Bible says that Moses was faithful to God and God was faithful to him. Even all in house. Why? Because he was faithful. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. First King chapter 5 verse 3. First King chapter 5 verse 3. Media help us. First King chapter 5. First King. I want us to deal with the word of God this morning before we pray. Because the word of God makes us to stand and pray. No. First King chapter 3. First King chapter 5. From 3. Don't know how David, my father, could not build and a house unto the name of the Lord, he is God, for the, for the war which we are about him. Every what? Every side unto the Lord put them under what? The sole of his feet. Verse 4. Verse 4. But now the Lord my God has given me rest all what? On every side. So that there is neither adversary nor every war current. And behold, 
I propose to build an a house unto the name of the Lord, my God. As the Lord spoke unto David, my father, saying, Thy son, whom I will set upon the throne, in the room, in the room, he shall build an a house unto what? Unto my name. Praise the Lord. David could not be able to, to build. Why? Because he was fighting battles. Was fighting battles all around. Fighting battles. The battle that he was hot was so much that he could not be able to build his house. But he kept on fighting and kept on fighting. He could not be able to move. But God said, God gave him rest. Listen to me. God will give you rest. There are battles that your father has fought that make you to want to continue to fight that battle. But this morning, this season of, of favor, God will give you rest. There are battles that your father are fighting and that your children will continue fighting and your children want to continue to fight the battle. But David say here that the battle that I fought, I was fighting the battle, fought the battle so much that I have no rest. But the Bible says God gave him gave him all rest. That even, even, even adversary of his enemy be able to stop them. Because the adversary will not let you go. They finish with you, they will finish with your children. But thank God that God gave him rest. God will give you rest. I say, God will give you rest. Lift your hands up and say, Oh, Father, oh Lord my God, as I begin to pray now, every adversary in my father's house that will not let me go, Father, stop them now. Adversary of open door, stop them now. Every adversary of open door that will not let me go, stop them now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Say, Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Every power of the adversary. Every power of the adversary. That want to stop my going. That want to stop my that going. That want to stop my project. That want to stop my project. Now. Now. By the power in the name of I Jesus. Name I stop of them before I they stop, stop me. Before Open they stop your mouth and begin to speak. I stop them. 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 I stop
There's no if they have 20 children. They all have different destinies. They have different destinies. They all have different destinies. Praise the Lord. When a, when, when a pastor call was preaching, the other day was telling you how he suffered. How he, if I want to pray, thought I become a fight for me and him. But today in come, praise the Lord. Thought I went with me with some more fat young. You do a sense that you still come and report to me because you still say it's only you that beat me. And I was sitting there, I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him. I know he carry a destiny, but something don't want to him to use that destiny. But I told you what I tell you, you, you not go die. You, you not go die. What, what, I say you, I fought him three times. Look at him today. Look at him today. People don't know they fought. I have fought him yesterday. But now every second now, I go, where are you? Ha, ah, mama, how are you? If you allow him to die by that power that time, can he be used of God today? That's why sometimes here, I look at our people here. They didn't take a challenge. When he talked to them, instead of them to correct their name, they pick offense. Don't you know that it's a power from your father's side that makes you to be offense when people corrected you? Anybody that is not take correction cannot go far. Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. We are going to stop every power that does not let me go. I stand by the power in the name of Jesus. And I destroy that power. Amen. Every wickedness from the pit of hell that will not let me go. I stop that power. Amen. Right now, I stop it. Amen. The wickedness of the wicked, I stop it. Amen. The power from the pit of hell concerning my life, I stop it. In the, open your mouth and begin to destroy. Every power from the pit of hell that will not let me go. I stop that power. I stop that power. Before they stop me, I stop it. I stop that power. Pray, deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Your destiny is in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. Shibra, <laughs> In Jesus' name we are praying. Hey, Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. Every adversity, every adversity against my project, against my every adversity, every adversity against my life, against my life. Slow my project, to slow my progress, to slow my life, to slow my children, to slow whatever I lay my hands. By the power in the name of Jesus, I stop that. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Stop the wickedness of the wicked. Stop the wickedness of the wicked. Stop the wickedness of the wicked. in Jesus name we are praying first Corinthians 16 verse 9 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 Midians 
1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. Ruth, what are you sitting down there doing? Go back to your place. Go, go to sleep. We are gisting where we are praying. Go back to sleep. 1 Corinthians. I'm watching every of you here. <laughs> For the great door and the first shower. Who is adversary? Adversary is a man that don't want you to go. Adversary is a person that don't want you to succeed. Door is open now. We are in the open door, Abby. Eh? We are now in the favor of open door. But who is your adversary? Sometimes you yourself is your adversary. When prayer is going on, what did you say? You are gisting. Are you not your enemy? Praise the Lord. He said, for the great door and the first one is open unto me. That means open door, different door, business door, money door, favor door has opened. You know that every day of your second you come to the presence of God is when God answer your prayer. Hello, are you hearing me? Every second, every minute,
that you Of, 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 of breakthrough. They can close your door of prosperity. They can close your door of growth. They can close your door of peace. You are full of confusion everywhere. Some people, they are everywhere. It's a work of advice. They are everywhere and they never achieve anything. The work of advice. That is the work. Except they close the door. And that's why you are praying now. Because every Yeah. 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 Yeah.